those circumstances are you to remove your protective suits until we get to the tower. Sounds like we're at war with the man-eating bees. Don't blame him, Uraine. Humans are afraid of bees, that's all. Where are the man-eating bees anyway? Wow, it's beautiful. The island's covered with flowers. Originally, this island was known for its extremely rare flower. Professor McGowan, an electrobiologist, was staying here, trying to make the whole island a honey farm. But he mysteriously disappeared two years ago and has been missing ever since. I'm sure Dad's still alive. To make matters worse, many people have been reported missing on the island, and today it is believed that they were all killed by the man-eating bees. Business. Get out of my way, you. Hey, I'm only trying to help. What's the matter? I'm not going to leave this island until I find my dad. Find your dad? But they're watching us. Oh. Watch out! Get away from here! Ah! There! We're safe now. at last. What is this building? I have no idea. Astro, listen! Oh! oh. A robot here? Hello, glad to see you. You're RP3, aren't you? I remember your voice. I know. You were Dad's robot assistant. He was? This robot was always with Dad. I am Professor McGowan's assistant. Your vo A good boy, have a good rest. Time to charge my energy. Has he been recharging his own energy all this time? I guess. What'll we do, Astro? We'll take him to a hospital after it gets dark. I don't think the bees will be out at night. Uh, Dad? Where are you, Daddy? Are the bees still there? No, they've all gone. I think it's safe to go now. Where's Christopher? Is he all right? Yes, he's asleep in bed now. Good. I'm glad he's resting. What is he doing? Preparing dinner for the professor. He does that every night? Daddy? Dad? Oh, there 
you are. Aren't you coming with us? I'm waiting. Professor told me to wait. Astro, Astro, Christopher's disappeared. Are you sure? But where's he gone? He wasn't well enough. He must have left to go find his dad. We've got to go after him. Christopher! Christopher! Huh? Look at that. How beautiful. Mm. Hurry, go find Christopher. Hey, I thought you were going to stay home waiting for the professor. I am waiting. Christopher is waiting. I must be with him. There he is. like an underground city. You're right. Looks like a hive. Yes, like a giant beehive. Where's Christopher? Oh. Look, there comes someone. Why don't we ask him? No. Oh. Get over here. Woo. I guess they're all hypnotized. That was not a real bee. Organic reaction, negative. What's that? A robot bee? Oh, oh, he spotted us. Woo. Run for it. The ones the TV camera picked up at the entrance, huh? Well, you won't be able to get out of Bee City alive. I'll teach you. Robot guards, attack! Hey, fuck off! Hey, RP3, what are you waiting for? Fight those bees! I am a research robot. I don't fight. Oh. Not as formidable as I thought. Who are you? Me. I'm the builder, designer, and commander of Bee City. And eventually, I believe, the ruler of the world. What? Starting from this island, I'll build a bee empire. It will become invincible. That's just terrible. You can't be serious. Ah, but I am. Deadly serious, you might say. Once the poison of the bees gets into human bodies, they obey my orders. The poison of my bees will help me turn all humans into slaves of Queen Mary. Queen Mary? Astro, after I've operated on you, you will gladly work for her too. I'd rather die! Oh, no you wouldn't. Queen Mary's powers are irresistible, and you, along with all the rest, will be content to stay. You'll be a very effective slave. Ha, 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 ha.
Danger! Danger! Come on! No time to lose! We have to find Astro! <laughs> hey, where are you going? A swarm of bees ahead. I will determine their location. Huh? Forget it! You have to help me find Astro! I am going to find the bees. Dumbbell. Wait, somebody's coming. <laughs> A swarm of bees in that room. Huh? Your Majesty. I am your servant. Is everything going exactly as planned? Yes. Your Majesty, the bees are all ready. They are waiting now for my command to attack. The time is come. We begin to expand my empire. Go. Yes, Your Majesty. So that is one nasty queen. Astro, there is no resisting us. The operation I will perform on you will turn you into a willing commander for my bees. Try whatever you want. I'll do more than try, Astro. I have here the secret of the bee's poison, which even a robot can't resist. This is a special antenna which receives hypnotizing electric waves from Queen Mary. Electric waves? It's easy with a human. The rays simply hypnotize him into submission. But since you're a robot and stronger than a man, I have to put it into your electronic brain. What a horrible idea! You may as well consider yourself one of Queen Mary's slaves. Take him to the operating room. Yes, yes sir. sir. Uh -oh. Take that! You rain! Astro! Don't let them get away! Attention, all guards! Seize Astro in corridor three. Hurry, robot guards coming. Astro needs an energy cassette. I must save one. Come on, don't be stingy. I'll carry you out if I have to. Just give it to him. Thanks. I'll show them who's a slave. There he is. Uh. Ah, who's there? Ah. Come with me, Christopher. He doesn't look too well. I'm good at removing stingers. Huh? Ah. Daddy? Huh? Daddy! Oh, Christopher! It's wonderful to see them together. Professor McGowan was one of the Queen's slaves, too. Huh? So you must be Queen Mary! Yes, I am. Astro! No! Queen Mary, I'll stop you. You foolish little man. Oh, oh. It was all my fault. I used my knowledge of electrobiology to build the Queen Bee. I designed her to produce more honey than a real bee could. My plan worked, and the bees produced an incredible amount of honey. But the electric rays which made that possible were so strong, the robot bees started getting hypnotized as well. 
And you were among the first victims, Professor McGowan. Real bees are born to produce honey. Tampering with the natural process has only led to disaster. I'm quite ashamed of myself. Whoa! No need to be scared. They are ordinary bees. It's good to see there are still some ordinary bees left on the island. Maybe it isn't hopeless. Maybe we can start all over again. Visit us again, Astro. We'll have some delicious honey for you. Thanks, I will. I'll visit you again, RP3. Don't forget me. Here. I am waiting. That is my job. <laughs> <laughs>